years of therapy, 10 years. And every time I ended the session, I was left with this feeling of, whoa, there's something so broken in me. There is so much to fix. It was just overwhelming. I kept thinking, thank God she puts up with me. I don't know what I would do if she had given up on me. Never in a million years would I have thought that this very person that was helping me release codependence was creating codependence on a whole new level. Hi, I'm Karen Katz, certified professional life coach and speaker for Fortune 500 companies. And today we're talking about why therapy is not the best option to heal the empath wound. For me, it was 10 years. For every single client I've worked with, it's been at least 10 years. Recently, I was working with someone who had been in therapy for 15 years. And when I asked her, how is it working for you? She said, obviously it's not. 15 years of therapy. For me, 10, it could have been easily another 10. It was almost like I thought I just needed to have a therapist in my corner in order for me to be able to process life. Like the way I was made, highly sensitive, required having a therapist on board so that I could live my life. That was the conclusion I arrived to. 10 years and never in a million years would I have considered that it was that she didn't have the tools to help me get out of this horrible dynamic that the trauma set me up for and into living healthy relationships. Never in a million years would I have thought it was her not having the tools. I always thought it was me that was wrong, that was broken, that wasn't fixable. And I am here to tell you that there is nothing wrong with you. And whoever tells you otherwise is full of shit. Talk therapy alone will not help. If we go back and talk about the same thing over and over and over and over again, our attention is there. We're focused on that. We are not clearing the pattern. We are just repeating and regurgitating the same thing. When people tell us we need to get out of our heads, we need to just surrender and trust, we need to start loving ourselves, all these cliches that are not practical are useless for us. Okay, go love yourself more. What the heck does that mean? That makes no sense. For, to somebody that hasn't learned that, that hasn't had a role model to show them what that entails, what that is about, that has been mistreated, neglected, abused. It's incomprehensible. As empaths, we need to know we are highly sensitive beings. We will always be that way. That will never change. And as highly sensitive beings, we need practical tools to be able to manage whatever life throws our way. We need to be able to process these emotions so that we don't get engulfed by them, feeling completely at, as a victim to any situation. We need very practical tools in order to be able to manage whatever is showing up in our lives, to be able to manage these emotions so that, that we don't get engulfed by them, draining our energy, feeling completely depleted, rejected, misunderstood, cut off, lonely, abandoned, rejected, at, as a victim to every person or situation. We need practical tools to be able to process all this, to process the wounds, to process the emotions, and to be able to get ourselves out of that hole that we, to be able to get out of that hole, understanding that there is nothing wrong with us. It is just the way we are wired. The right tools are like food and shelter for us 
for empaths. They're essential. And when I talk about these tools, it is important that we clarify that not every tool is, is equal. Yes, there are a lot of tools to be able to process trauma and um, there's always something new coming up. My invitation to you is to make sure that whatever tool you try or whatever tool you choose is not a tool that creates the codependence that you are trying to get rid of. That at the core is keeping you tied to this horrible, horrible dynamic. If the tool needs to be provided, be given or be accessed with a provider, which makes me have to go every single time and depend on that provider, I invite you to evaluate and look for another tool. Maybe you want to give it a try, but there is absolutely no need for us as empaths and highly sensitive beings to have to live life having a therapist constantly to talk to. Absolutely no need for it. If you want it, go ahead. If it works for you, absolutely. But if it's not working for you, you've been in therapy for 10, 15, 20 years, and the needle is not moving, as was my case, that means that says more about the therapist and them maybe having the intention but not having the tools to actually help you than about you. You are not broken, you are not unfixable, you are not broken beyond repair, and it is not like, oh my God, thank God that they put up with me because otherwise what would I do? Absolutely not. You just need the proper tools. We are highly sensitive beings and we need the proper tools. For us, the tools are like food and shelter. We need to be able to manage whatever is showing up in our lives so that we can process it. Because anything that resembles that initial wound from when we were younger, anything that comes close to it, and we're gonna jump, as I've shared in previous videos, I'll put the link in the description below. Anything that resembles it, we're gonna jump. Right? And it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with it, right? If, if a partner is telling me right now that I am being ridiculous or that I am too sensitive or said some word that is triggering for me, I am associating it to the original wound, but it has nothing to do with it. What I, and generally we will go back at this partner and get mad at them this person at this triggering person and tell them to stop doing it because it is affecting me because it is hurting me and yes we can definitely do that but regardless of that we have to go to the original wound and heal it it is much easier to go to the original wound and actually heal it and in that way, we won't attract any more situations that are resembling or coming close to that wound because we've addressed it at the core. So these practical tools that I share, that I teach, are essential for us in order to be able to process whatever is showing up. The Triggers are actually guiding us to the wounds that need to be healed. And yes, you can do this work with support in a very safe and sacred healing container, but it is a certain amount of time and then you move on. There is no codependency. I will never create any sort of codependency after having lived through that shit for so many years and feeling so dependent on someone else as if it were the air that I breathe. I will not stand for it. I will not do it. And I do not think that we need it. Absolutely not. With the proper tools, we are able to process whatever comes up, move through it, clear it, heal it. Yes. 
there is some going back to the past to talk about some of the things that happened so we can clear the energy. What we do in sessions, what I do in sessions with clients, it's very specific. We go, we clear the energy, and we move forward to the present and the future. We don't live in the past. For 10 years, I kept regurgitating this past with the therapist. 10 years still talking about the same things from when the day we started. And I understand there's different modalities, so maybe it was a modality thing with the one that I had, but I hear the story over and over again with from way too many clients, how they've been in therapy for 10, 15, 20 years, some people more. And when I ask them, and how is it helping you? They say, well, apparently it's not because I'm still in it. And yes, there has been maybe a little bit of movement, but it doesn't take 10 years. My containers take four months. And literally I've had people tell me after five weeks that the people that know them well say, what's going on with you? Because you, something's shifting, something's changing. It's a palpable change in five or six weeks. So this 10 year thing, has got to stop. We don't need that. We are not broken. There is nothing wrong with you. And it's just that the people that you've reached out for help did not have the complete understanding and did not have the proper tools in order to be able to help you. And if that is your case, check out the link below with the free training that I've prepared for you so you could see what the healing process entails. It does not take. 10 years, it does not even take a year. I can literally riff about this for ages, so we're just gonna keep it short. <laughs> Bottom line is what I want you to be very, very aware of is that there is nothing wrong with you. The other person, the professional, did not have the tools to support you. That's it, not your fault. Much love your way, namaste.